share with us, like, from a worship guitar or electric guitar player's perspective, on a Sunday morning, Mm -hmm. what's the electric guitar player's job? The electric guitar player's job, I think of uh, electric guitar is like a space expander. Mm. And, um, And I believe keys are the same way. Yeah. You know, drums and bass is like the soul mover. You know, mm-hmm. drums and bass locked in, getting in the pocket. It's nice. like the soul waker upper. So that's the door, and sometimes the feet that that we run with. And then I feel like electric guitar and uh, and keys are kind of the the space expander. You know, ba- this is kind of nuanced, but like bass and drums is like, hey, this is where we're going. Are you coming with us? Yes. And then electric guitar is is meant to say, and this is the room we're in. You know, this is the mo- this is the moment. It's the it's kind of a moment maker. Yeah, sounds are, and I feel like a a worship electric guitar player's job is to in in church and in, in music in the church. I think is to channel what the Holy Spirit is asking of you in the moment, and so sometimes it's not to play, and sometimes it's to play um, uh, what. David calls play prophetically, um, which just means empowered by in the Old Testament, just means empowered by the Holy Spirit. We, can we just stop right there for sure? Sure. Yeah. Because this is something that's pretty near and dear to me. Uh-huh. But it's it's not something that everybody understands mm-hmm. or, or maybe has even valued everywhere in the worship space. Yeah. And I don't mean this with any criticism. No, it's great. You know what I mean? Like cause sometimes Sometimes worship can sort of be on the grid. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, we've got our Ableton track, and uh-huh. we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this, yeah. and that's how it ends because that's how it ends, right. right? But then there's this other thing that happens in worship where, it, I, I like to say we, we go through the back of the wardrobe, mm-hmm. you know, and anything could happen. Yeah. Right? And so, would you say more about playing prophetically or yes, like playing empowered by the spirit i it starts it starts in the closet it starts in the prayer room and if you are a musician on a sunday or in a church um there there's a duty and a joy to to have a a secret private relationship where you are where you are experiencing joy with god and you are enjoying his presence privately and you are knowing him uh in an intimate way uh, in a close way, in a very familiar way, like in a, in a way of friends, but also beholding the majesty at the same time. It's right. like, I am friends with God, and He is also majesty, majestic Lord of the universe at the same time. Yeah. So, and I feel like it's, it is a music, musician's duty and joy to bring that into the, the Sunday morning worship band and to play prophetically in the moment when it's appropriate because the lyrics of these songs tell the gospel story and, and tell of the greatness of God in a, in a literary form. And then there's things in, in the church, the big C church, like tongues. And it's, it's a, or, or sounds that we hear in worship that are, that are produced by experiencing the Holy Spirit. And, and hearing those sounds, when they're real, they strike your heart in a way where it is like that's a weird sound but why am i crying you yeah. know it's, it's because waking something up in it's because the lord is in the room yeah. and guitar is the same way i mean when the guitar player is walking with the lord and he is playing prophetically and and, and they are are making music the music that in the moment that heaven is asking them to make the lord comes and does ministry with the music i mean play the strings and play them skillfully. I mean, mm-hmm. that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Because because when you play the strings and when you play them skillfully and prophetically, people get people see clearly. They can see God and people get healed uh, of apathy. People get healed of uh, depression. And people experience the joy of the Lord or the peace of the Lord in the moment. And music has the power to do that. And I believe that that's empowered by God. It's not emotionalism. It can become that, but but man, when when the Lord is in the room, it's just the goodness of God. Okay, so so so. Yeah. Let me...